All right, so here we are on the Parks Golf website and we're gonna install ACF and make sure that's all ready to go. But before I do anything, I'm just gonna make a backup. So we're gonna go in, say create backup, and this is gonna say before ACF, just like that, create a production backup. So that's gonna go ahead and make that backup and then that will allow me to now go in and start making my edits. So I've plugged and activated the Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin. So this is just a standard activation. And I'm just gonna go into the updates area and make sure that I add the license key. Great, so that's now all added in. All right, so what are we actually gonna do here today? Well, we're going to make a custom post type and that post type is going to be used to display all the different holes on the golf course. So a golf course, for those that don't know, often has at least 18 holes. Each hole has a different number of strokes that you have to attain to get what we call par. So golfers want to know how, what do these holes look like? Where do I tee off? Where do I hit the ball? When I'm hitting the ball onto the green where the flag is and the hole is to hit the ball in, where is that? How far is that? And how challenging is this course? I'd like to see photos. Quite often, each hole has a sponsor. And there are also multiple tee off points. So depending on how far you hit the ball will depend on which tee points you use. So they have what they call the tips, which is for pros. And then, you know, you can also go much closer to the hole where they have things like social tee offs, uh, ladies tee off, kids tee offs, things like that. Because obviously a child can't hit the ball as far as a 20 odd year old male who's a pro golfer. So the golf course tees are also in different spots. So we have to record all of this information um, so that people can look at different holes, take a look at photos, videos, things like that, um, as well as sponsors of those holes to be able to identify what is this golf course like. So we're gonna use all of that in a custom post type. So inside ACF Pro, we've activated and we're gonna add our first post type. So we've got a plural name, a singular name and a post type key. So what are we gonna do here? Well, first of all, we want to really call this course hole for singular like that. Now, actually let's change that to holes. We'll use a filter later to fix that up. And then taxonomies, you can select a taxonomy here or I can create a taxonomy up there. We will go ahead and do that. You can decide if you want to have hierarchical post types. So this is when you create something like say landing pages or something like that. You might wanna have hierarchical post types. This is when one post belongs to another. So post types are very similar to blog posts. Um, we can have some advanced configurations here as well. So we can say, what does this post type support? Does it have trackbacks? Does it have comments, etc.? So you can also change your labels down here as well. Um, and that's why we're gonna, we'll go ahead and change some labels in a little bit once we get our visibility and things all sorted out. Um, and there's different things when it comes to URLs as well. So I can also do custom permalinks and things like that. So I could really say, you know, what do I want this to be called? Um, so at the moment it says whole. So I'm gonna put a custom one there that says course, like that, and now, when people go to the course page, all the holes will be listed. Um, so you could do it like that, or we, we're actually gonna say hole like up here, and then the custom archive here is gonna be course down here. So this means that when you list all the holes, you're on the course page, and when you go to hole, and it will be hole one, hole two, hole three, etc. So they're just gonna be numbers um, that will, will be hole instead. So that all looks okay. So now we're gonna say save changes, just like that. And there we go. Now we've got this post type all ready to go. So what's actually happened when it comes to this post type? What do we have? So let's take a look at our dashboard. And now on the left-hand navigation, I have course here. 
and this is the golf course with the holes in it, see? So we can see that that's what that's done. So let's go back to the post type now, and we'll just double check what we have here, because this says holes on this one. So we've got holes, hole, 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 that's all okay. Um, and then we're gonna click on the labels. Menu name is gonna be course guide instead. And then all will be all holes. Edit hole, view hole, view hole like that. Add new hole, parent hole, search course holes. No course holes found. Can put that like that. All right, so we can see here that we're just going through um, making sure that all our labels look the way that we want them to. This all looks pretty good now. Good. Nice. So now I've got the course guide here. That's a little bit better. So we've got all that sort of stuff. Um, we can do a custom icon here with a dash icon. So let's take a look at these dash icons because I think that that kind of pen there isn't very helpful. Um, I don't know if we've got anything that's like a flag. So because when you play golf, so we've got a flag there. So I can click on that and we can see here that I've got the dash icon flag. So if we go back here, um, now we're in the advanced visibility area. I can say dash icons flag like so, and then say save changes. And now I've got a flag there for my course guide. Um, that one looks okay. What do I have in terms of maps? Nothing. Um, yeah, there's not much else that I'm looking at there that's gonna be of much use to me in terms of an icon that's gonna better display anything. Um, just going to keep having a bit of a look through here, make sure there's nothing else that would be suitable. I think I'm pretty happy with, with just using the flag. So any of these icons can be used. So you can see how you can just click on the item and then go ahead and, and uh, put that in to the relevant field within the post type. Okay, so we've got all of that there. Now, taxonomies, um, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, we might add a filter later on. We'll go ahead and make sure that we start working on our holes themselves first. So what have we created? We've got these course guide with all holes. So we know that we're going to have a maximum of 18 of these. It's never going to go beyond that. Um, so we've got to use a few different things with our listings and stuff like that to, be able to make that look nice. And what we do need, however, is some custom fields. So next up, we've got custom fields to be able to show us a bit more information about how these holes work. So first of all, we go into the field groups and we need to add a field group. So this is um, whole details is gonna be the name of the group. Okay. So then within the fields, we've got a couple of different things that we're gonna have to do. So first is a number, and that's um, par, par, and the default value of that will be three. All right, so this is a number, and that number is always going to be what, how many shots you expect to have. Now, I can actually switch that over when I think about it, because there's only three choices that you can have there. So we're going to switch to radio button instead. So par can either be three, four, or five, and that's it. So you can't have anything other than three, four, or five for a par. So we've got that par item there. Next up, we'll add a field, 
and we're going to say um, YouTube flyover. I want to just call it flyover video. There we go. And that's going to be an embed. The embed size, um, well, that would be what, 1280 by 720. So this field here um, is please add YouTube link for video. Flyover. Okay, so there we go. That's all good. So, so far I've got the par, the flyover video, and then we're going to have um, the sponsor image. So that's the sponsor logo. And then we're going to have um, uh, oh, what will we call that? So we'll call this a T box. Uh, All right, so we have the T box sign. So a T box sign is simply a sign that's at the T box when you tee off and it gives you a little bit of information. I've gone and got photos of every single hole of the course. And then, um, so I've got what par, flyover, sponsor, T box. And then we're going to have a gallery. So there's just gonna be um, photos. So that's just photos of the actual course there. So that's all inside there. Um, okay, so that looks good. Add field now. And I'm going to put in, let's see if we've got a separator or a grouper or something. We do have groups. So I want to put a group inside of here, which is the T distances. Um, so We've got, and that's always going to be a number in meters. So we've got the blue T's. The white T's. The red T's. And the yellow T's like that. Let's go ahead and save that. So right now we've got T distances, photos, etc. Oh, there's one more value that I need. And that is what we call the slope rating. So the slope rating is um, a value that indicates how difficult the hole is compared to the whole course. So I'm going to move that as well. We'll move that up here underneath par. So I've got the par, the slope rating, video, logo, T box sign, photos, and the T distances. We'll move that up there also. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we say post type is equal to hold, presentation, standard meta box, after content. That's all good. Group settings, all good. So that all looks fantastic. So then I say save changes. So now I've got all that information that I need and I haven't made anything compulsory yet. So I'm just gonna go to validation here and say that par is required. Slope rating is not. So I'm just gonna leave that empty for now. It's like that and everything else will just say that that's all fine. So I'm going to say save changes just like that. And there we go. So that's good. So now we've got all that information there. Everything looks pretty good to go. So now I've got to go over to my course guide area and start adding data. So I'll go ahead, add all the data. I'm not going to take you through that, but I'll just show you the form to get started with so you can see how that is. I'll go ahead and add all the data in. Um, and then from there, we'll go ahead and map that up to the layout. So you can see here, I've got the whole details. So this is what we had originally. So you can see there that that opens and closes. 
You, if you've got multiple groups of these, I would move up and down. You can edit the field group um, by clicking on that and that takes you over to ACF, but we'll go back. Okay, and then you've got the par, the slope rating, which takes a number. So you can see here how that's got, you know, a, a number area. Um, you can enter the URL for the YouTube video there, and that should auto embed that. Add the image for the sponsor for the sponsor logo and T-box sign, that's all there. Add to the gallery, which is all the photos that we have for each course, and we'll be able to label those. Uh, sorry, for each hole on the course. And that's really everything right there. So, so far, we've got everything that we need. Um, we may end up adding a couple of extra images in here. Um, one might be the, the course map. So we might be able to get those mapping values. If I can, I'll add them in. And um, yeah, I just have to go about adding all that data. So once that's done, we'll come back to this video and take you through how to map that data.